April 1st and 2nd, Thursday and Friday, the sun is in Aries and the moon is in Sag. Announcement, they're both fire signs. When there are two planets in fire signs, they get along great. If a baby were born with this, we would know their temperament would be very light because there's a harmony going on between their sun, their ego, and their moon, their emotions. This is the conflict that too many of us, when we have those squares we talk about, when the sun and moon squares, there's conflict. But when the sun and moon are the same element, we call it a trine. And it just means that on this Thursday and Friday, it's a great time to get outside. It's a great time to move some energy. So we know immediately if a baby were born, no matter what the rest of their chart, sun and Aries, moon and Sag, that's fun. That's alive. That's vital. That's energetic. That's someone that just doesn't sit idle. And they get super excited about jumping on anything and jumping off anything. They're kind of wild kids. Okay, now the moon in Sag is opposite Mars and Gemini. I'm getting ready to show you a T-square. And then at the bottom, Mercury and Neptune are in Pisces. So look at that. We've got Gemini. We have Sag. We have Pisces. There's two opposite. The third one is 90 degrees, and so the whole thing releases in what would be Virgo. So it tells me that while there's a lot of fire energies, a lot of get up and go, we have to stay focused. And if the release is in Virgo, you might want to go to Costco this weekend. You might want to get some organizing going on. You might want to look at your spreadsheets. You might want to reevaluate, make a list that you'll take care of on Saturday when the moon enters Capricorn, but you've got a lot of good ideas going on. And I just want to acknowledge April 2nd is Rodney King's birthday. That was that civil rights uprising in LA after he was the victim of police brutality in the 90s. And we can't forget these people. He gave his life over. This is so Aries. He became one of the major teachers for all of us to say, we have to re-examine what's going on. And he became one of the representations for us as a society having to wake up. I don't know how long it will take, but with the sun and Aries and the moon and Sag, it's worth talking about. Rodney King, happy birthday, April 2nd. You are not forgotten. And all those that are the teachers who gave their lives to us to become the teachers, I pray that your legacy be remembered and that we know how to be honorable to learn the lessons. That is so moon and Sag. We have to learn our lessons to keep evolving or else what's going to happen to us? Astrology's answers wanted me to say, the moon's in Sag, just say it. Blah.